All right, moving on. Dennis Rodman uh, announced plans to uh, go to Russia to help bring Brittany Griner home, but the United States of uh, Department of State, the United States Department of State, discouraged Rodman from interfering in Griner's case and announced that Rodman's trip would not be on behalf of the U.S. government. A spokesperson from the Department of State said, "We believe that anything other than negotiating further through the established channel is likely to complicate and hinder those relief efforts." The department currently has a level four do not travel advisory for Russia due to Russia's conflict with Ukraine. Rodman has since reversed his plans. What are your thoughts on what Rodman is trying to do? Al, what do you think about this? Well, you know, Dennis Rodman has always been fascinating to me. Um, and especially after he had developed that extremely close relationship with the North Korea Supreme Leader, um, what's his name? Kim Jong Un. Kim mm -hmm. Jong Un. Mm -hmm. um, and it was based on his his basketball plan with the Chicago Bulls. Uh, the 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 supreme leader fell in love with Rodman for the days in which he played in the NBA. And one thing we know about sports: sports definitely transcends countries, races, religion, and all that stuff. I think it was noble of 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 him to step up. I just wanted to know what relationships did he think he had that he could negotiate that that's what I wanted to figure out. I wanted to know for you to step in and say, hey, I think I can help means you got to end somewhere. So I want to know what his end actually is and, and my honest opinion. But then I stepped back and I said, this must be an incredibly positive sign that the United States doesn't want any more help because I think we're close to closing this deal and getting this young lady home. The United States doesn't want anyone speaking. They don't want us to discuss what we got going on with them. They don't want anything. I mean, I'm sorry. Russia does not want us to, you know, as a country to discuss what's going on. They like, let's keep this thing inside. Don't play this thing out in the media. And they said that will jeopardize her release. Q, what do you think about this? And Dennis Rodman interfering and trying to be an ambassador. I think it was arrogant and stupid as hell. What was he going to do? Get off his Delta airline flights and walk up to the damn jail cell and knock on the door and say, let me speak to the warden. Um, I don't give a damn what relationship he got with Kim Jong-un or whoever the case may be. You ain't got no dog on clout over in Russia and you damn sure ain't more powerful and have more backing than the United States. Um, this was performative. Um, this was, I, I'm not going to call it clout chasing. Maybe it was noble. Maybe it was coming from a genuine place, but I just want to know after he got off the plane, like what was next? Where, where, where was he having the black car take him and who was he about to talk to that Biden, Kamala, the secretary of defense and the Pentagon were unable to reach? It I do agree. It is a bit arrogant. I think he got um, empowered with his relationship with Kim Jong-un and with Donald Trump, you know, kind of made him feel like he was almost like an honorary diplomat. And he was kind of like he took it real seriously. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he had a relationship with with Putin or Kremlin. I mean, um, I just I wouldn't. They're both. I mean, they're all the same age. I think I think he might. And then part two of the question then is, okay, let's just say hypothetically he did. Then what relationship did he have with the U.S.? Because was he going to call back and get Biden on the phone? Right. You know what? We got to take a quick commercial break while we ponder, why did Dennis Rodman think he could make this happen? Because that is interesting. We might need to get him on the line. I do have his number. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with more TGIF. And you know he watches TGIF. <laughs> 